Welcome to the second tutorial on tracking hail in Weather Defender. In the first tutorial, we showed you how to add a couple of unique tracking layers, storm reports and storm attributes, and you can go back and watch that tutorial if you'd like to learn how those work. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up automated alerts so that you can be notified immediately and automatically whenever there is damaging hail uh, in a certain region of the country. Creating weather-based alerts in Weather Defender is very easy. It's one of the core features of this product. And I'm going to show you just how easy that is here. Uh, what I've got up right now is the summer weather map. And I've added to it the storm attributes. But let me just go back to the original as you would see it if you open it clean. I'm just going to remove these two layers that I had added. Now, making sure that your map is unlocked, it should show an open padlock in here. I'm going to go in the map and I'm going to click perimeter. Now depending on the use, uh, most people for like residential or tracking or for uh, local scale, you're only going to want to track maybe you know 20, 40 mile range or so uh, when it comes to tracking hail. There's no need to know what's going on all over the place. But if you are a commercial entity and you need to know when hail is um, entering a whole region of the country, it's just very easy. You just click and drag your mouse for however big of an area you want to monitor for hail. Um, so let's say here I'm going to just monitor practically the whole state of South Carolina. Um, I will just click, drag my mouse out to here, and release the mouse button. And a new settings window will appear. And if I move the setting windows over, you can see that this whole area that's lit up right now is the alert perimeter that I'm going to be monitoring for hail. And it's very easy. All I'm going to do is uh, just give it a quick name. And then I'm going to scroll down. There's a bunch of presets in this box just below. I'm going to scroll down to large hail under radar indicated threats. So large hail greater than one inch. That would be anything one and a quarter inch and generally speaking one inch is kind of the threshold where damage starts occurring. So I'm going to just check that box and then how do you want to be alerted? Well I can have it play a sound like uh, a thunder sound or I can have it pop up an alert if you're sitting at the screen, or of course the always popular email alert uh, where you'd actually have a, an alert going out to a specific email address here, and, you know, or a mobile phone, whatever the case may be. So there's multiple options there. I'm just going to do a pop-up alert. The other options on here can be left to their defaults. Uh, they simply mean uh, the amount of time between alerts. So 10 minutes is the default, or you can set that to 60 minutes if you don't want to be bothered too often. Uh, and then just click OK. And you're done. You will see what actually happened here is the storm attributes layer was automatically added to my map because it needed that layer in order to track the hail. And there's a nice green perimeter ring here around this whole region right where the storm's moving through. And as soon as anything, right now there's a three, three quarter inch hail over here next to Charlotte and then just northeast of Atlanta, there's a 0.75 inch hail, so that hasn't triggered my specific hail threshold yet of, uh, of one inch. But when it does, an alert will pop up and I'll be notified. And that's all there is to it. It's very easy, very quick to create these alerts and automatically be notified whenever hail is detected. Thanks for watching.